During their stay in Sweden, Brooke and Mark are attending high school with Nicholas. It's been a year since Brooke was at school, and although Mark is enrolled, he rarely actually goes. <laughs> this is Nicholas's final year, and with crucial exams coming up, plus having to watch the teens like a hawk, it could be a very long week. If they do break some rules or something, I'll of course tell them to don't do it, but uh, I can't really force them. And then I'll probably have to tell my parents. And it's not long before Nicholas is put in the situation he's been dreading. <laughs> <sighs> no, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I guess I have to tell Dad. That was not good to hear. That's good. I just got a call from Nicolas uh, from school, and they have been smoking today at school. It was a very sad call, um, devastating, I would say. And this is a serious break of the house rules. A small little arrow is there in my heart because of this. The school smoker confirms Peter's suspicions that Brooke's been lying and leads to a hunt for evidence. Yeah, there it is. See? As I suspected, here it is. I feel sad that she has lied to my face, but I, I'm not so surprised either. How's Brooke gonna talk her way out of this one? Mark decides he needs a private chat with his Swedish dad. So we do it in that book room. I talk to you in there, because it's away from everyone else. So I don't want anyone else to hear. Yeah, okay. I have done something wrong. Today at school, I had a smoke. Mm -hmm. You can take them off me if you want to. Because, and you can take the privileges off me. I just wanted to let you know that I had one, because I felt bad. Believe it or not, I got a call today. Really? <laughs> yeah. You came to me first, so you have done a good, very good thing here. So I'm a little bit proud of you that you said this to me. While Mark's confession has bought him some breathing space, Brooke's interrogation is all about honesty. We want you to tell the truth. That's I'm the telling the truth. Most... No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. It's... It was already out. It was in my bag and it was out. It's quite obvious, you're, you're, you're a, a, a clever girl, but you're not smart. And now you're lying. Please do not push me to over the edge because it's really annoying me. Is that a threat? I don't care. I didn't dub marking because I'm not a snitch. Why should we both get in trouble for something? It was my idea. The evidence was found in my room. We have decided that you uh, would not have your room. What do you mean I won't have a room? I need a coffee now. Turn this freaking kettle on. I want to smash someone's face and that's what's going to happen. I swear to God. How do you turn on the freaking kettle, please? All right. I hope you guys are making the bed again, because I'm not. It's not my job. Brooke, can we put your things here? As Brooke gets settled in her new sleeping quarters, it looks like Mark owes her one. He may have given up his tobacco, but at least he still gets his own room, with no roommate. 